let me promise you, I listen and I, and I hear you too. And of course, I love hearing the breakthrough, big vision stories, manifestations. And I also have a real tender place in my heart for those down and out moments and those moments where you're frustrated and tired of not getting the breakthrough or watching what it seems like everyone else succeed or feeling like you've been left behind or just like can't get out of that dark night of the soul season. I'm here for all of it. You've gotten great at divine working, but what about divine living? Welcome to the Divine Living Podcast. I'm your host, Gina DeVee. You're not alone in wanting more. And here at the Divine Living Podcast, you can expect to be part of conversations from women like us who unapologetically dream big and are obsessed with manifesting our most fabulous lives. The conversation starts now. Oh my goodness. Today is a celebration day, queen. It's such a big celebration. I just want to thank you so much because part of why I'm celebrating is because of you. The Divine Living Podcast just hit over 500,000 downloads. And, oh, what a joy, what an honor, what a delight. You know, I can't say that I even thought about this moment when I started my podcast. I was encouraged slash sort of forced slash made to start my podcast when Kathy Heller said to me, Gina, you've got no broadcast. Like, why don't you have a podcast? I'm like, I had one in the back. She's like, I have a, don't, aren't there too many podcasts? She's like, no, stop. You got to do it. I'm like, okay, fine. And I'm like, well, I'm really busy in the fall. I think come January, it's not a good time to start a podcast. She's like, stop making excuses. And I think that was maybe August. And I think we launched at the end of September, if I remember correctly. Um, so yes, so I didn't think much about a half a million downloads. Um, but I gotta tell you, now I'm thinking about a million and two and beyond. And the reason why I say that is because I think that we can often be the ones to doubt ourselves the most or to dismiss ourselves the most or overlook our brilliance and our genius. And something that just comes so easily to me, one of my superpowers that I now am acknowledging a year and a half later, is the ability that I have to speak truth and encouragement and inspiration and get people back to remembering who they are. And I don't say that because I think there's anything special about me. It's just that we've all been given gifts. And this is one of the gifts that I've been given. So to say that getting on and doing a podcast is fun, is an understatement, is easy. It's, it's, it's like the easiest thing I do. And I, I just, I'm, I'm here to be transparent with you. Like I haven't really owned the glory of that. And I'm sharing that with you today because there's glory in me and there's glory in you. And there's glory in every single human on this planet. My God does not create extra humans. And my God doesn't do mediocre. And I wrote about this in my book, The Audacity to Be Queen. It's like the epic life is here for all of us. And spirituality is our superpower. When I say spirituality, I mean us tapping into the gifts that are in us from the divine and using them and spreading them and sharing them freely and generously. And I got to tell you, you do that and those seeds that you planted will come to fruition. They will absolutely bloom. You will see the results of your goodness and your grace going forth into the world. And I see this in so many of my clients' lives where when we're doubting or we're lacking confidence or we're lacking faith or we think that we're lacking the skill, we make it too much about us. Well, what should I talk about? Or what should the logo be? Or, you know, is anyone going to listen to this? And hasn't this all been said before? When we 
make it about us. Like, I was like, I don't know that I should join the podcast game. Like, aren't there like too many podcasts out there already? I wasn't asking the question, what are my greatest talents and how can I use them to serve? How can, what's the easiest, most pleasurable way for me to be a blessing or a contribution in the world? I wasn't asking those questions. I, I was making it about me and thinking like, oh, if I do it now, it's like, I don't know, not really going to get results or just asking, or thinking things that are not fruitful. And so it's time that we give ourselves some grace. If you are overlooking your own skills and talents and genius and gifts, if you're assuming that everyone else knows what you know, if you think that people don't need to hear what's inside of you, let me lovingly remind you how great you are. Let me adjust your crown from one queen to another and confirm that this world needs that special slice of you. I'm not saying like wants, I'm saying needs, 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 needs. And when you show up to shine your light, you just have no idea, no idea whose life and whose lives it's going to impact. You know, when I sit here behind this microphone, whether I'm traveling and pulling it out of my carry-on case or sitting where I'm at home today in my home office in Miami. You know, I'm not always in tune with how far the reach is going to go. I'm not always in tune with whose life needed some hope or some inspiration or just a, a pep in their step or some encouragement or a piece of wisdom. But the universe does. The universe does. And I think, and I say this to myself, and I am not fishing, I'm just saying, I think it would do us a lot of good to scroll less and say more. And I will tell you, I am not a big commenter. I am not a big review lever. Um, even when I love, love, love something, and I also do not do it when I've had a, a negative experience. I'm just, I'm not a public commenter. And I just, and I don't know why, because I read every single DM. I read every single review for my podcast, for my book on Audible, and for my book on Amazon. And it means so much. I also read every birthday comment too. I mean, don't you? And if you have a podcast or a book or like, don't you? And it means so much. It means so much when you see friends or relatives or colleagues or acquaintances leave that review. It means so much when a quote unquote stranger does. And whether it's a Facebook feed post or an Instagram story or, uh, or any of it, I think that if you want to be a blessing in someone's life today, shoot them a text, a DM, leave a comment, go leave a review, letting them know that their work matters, that the message that they put, whether it was a meme, whether it was a masterclass, if someone has positively impacted your life, I mean, I trust, I realize it could be a full-time job. You don't have to go around, you know, making that your job. But if we all picked, I don't know, three people a day where we actually let someone know like, wow, that post you shared, that was really vulnerable. Thank you. I learned a lot about myself from hearing about your learnings or, or any of it because I just know, so I mean, I, you know, sometimes I'm like, is anybody listening? And my clients, I hear it from them too. It's like, is this doing any good in the world? And then one day, if you just keep doing it and you don't give up and you keep letting your light shine and you really pay attention to what makes you feel good and what comes easy to you. I'm not saying all of life needs to be easy, but if you do pay attention to where it feels like there's flow, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to get a message from your team that your podcast hit a half a million downloads or your program is sold out, or 
your book hit a number one bestseller status or, and it's not even about the status. It's just about really getting that there are results when you stay consistent. And have I done podcasts when I didn't feel like it? Of course, but I got to tell you something. It's kind of like a meditation or a workout. Even if you don't feel like doing it on the way in, mm, you feel amazing on the way out. Or at least I do. And I know that during 2021, when I shut down so many big, big departments in my company, the podcast stayed, the Q Club stayed, and my book stayed. That's it. That's it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm revamping and I'm clearing space for the new. But my point is, is that when you're looking at leveling your own playing field in the form of your own business, and you're really taking a look at like, what, what do I care about? What matters to me? What, in what way am I contributing that brings the most joy, the greatest ease? And for me to really see that being here doing solo casts with you like I, I honestly I gotta tell you on some days I don't know if it's more for you or me it's like it just puts me in a good mood and word on the street is it puts a few of you in, the, in a good mood also and then it's just really also been such a joy to have talented brilliant geniuses queens and one king I believe on the on the Divine Living Podcast, sharing just everything that they've been through, putting it all out there. Um, it's about the relationships, you know, getting to connect um, with people in person that you've met through a podcast land has been very special too. I was just in LA last week and met up with some people that, in addition to my friends, and it was like, because we met on a podcast and and started to form a real life friendship. So I'm just, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for more of it. I would love to hear from you. Okay, now I'm fishing. Um, I'd love to hear from more of you. What are your favorite episodes? Who are your favorite guests? What do you want more of? Um, I've been playing around with different time frames. I had lunch with a friend in LA and I was like, yeah, I've been doing these micro episodes and people seem to love them, you know, like short 10 minute, 11 minute ones. She's like, I hate them. I hate them. I was like, what do you mean you hate them? She goes, I need 30 minutes. I, I, I block off time. If I'm walking my dog, I miss a, she has a 30 minute slot for a podcast. And when she sees a 10 minute, I'm like, okay. So Recently, if you've noticed any 30-minute ones, you you have my friend Lynn Casey to thank for those because she has requested the 30-minute one. I remember when I was like uh, always doing 45 minutes on the treadmill, I would get irritated when I couldn't get a 45-minute one. I didn't want an hour and I didn't want 30 minutes. I wanted the 45. So anyways, the point is I would really love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to DM me on Instagram, I personally read all my DMs. Let me know what subjects you like, what content, even how long or how short you like the podcasts. And um, I just really like being in communication with you. I, like, I love this being a relationship. I love this being a two-way conversation, even though right now, right here, I'm talking into the microphone. Let me promise you, I listen and I, and I hear you too. And of course, I love hearing the breakthrough, big vision stories, manifestations. And I also have a real tender place in my heart for those down and out moments and those moments where you're frustrated and tired of not getting the breakthrough or watching what it seems like everyone else succeed or feeling like you've been left behind or just like can't get out of that dark night of the soul season. I'm here for all of it. You know, as a former psychotherapist, it's, it's just a real honor to be able to bring that part of my training as well as my years as a transformational coach. So it's like kind of the dark shadows and the light shadows and 
taking a look at where we've come from and also leaving a lot of space for dreaming big and, and keeping our eye on where we're going also. It's a special journey we have on this planet called Earth and this thing called life. And as the world opens up, it is my deep, deep prayer and commitment and devotion to seeing how we all can live life in a lighter way, in a better way, in a, a more spiritually in tune way, a way that really prioritizes femininity, creativity, the, the love for life. I was talking to my friend Ashley Stahl earlier today and she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've spent like 50 minutes like just talking about me. And I was like, well, do you have more time? You know, that we can like catch up and I'll, I'll jump into and she's like yeah and I was like if we don't have an hour and a half on any given Thursday to connect with a real friend what are we doing like why even live like if we're so scheduled if life has become so much about work if there's not time for the real relationships we've missed it we've missed this glorious awesome ability to dance and thrive and trust me I get it I, I I'm in the the thick of it too you know I, I think that for most of us our life isn't all awesome or all awful like most of the time maybe 10 percent maybe less than 10 percent of the time like everything is going right or everything is going wrong I don't know, for me right now, I've got some challenges that I'm looking at that while I'm talking to you, they feel a lot lighter and a lot smaller and a lot more likely to become manifested in the perfect time frame. And then I've got other areas that are really blissful, that I'm so grateful for, that I'm, I'm basking in the bliss. And my, my personal pursuit moving forward is... Of course, there will always be life. I desire to get better at doing life, meaning like really leaning into the spiritual principles. And it doesn't mean that there's not work and there's not effort and there's not challenges. And I've been like sitting here looking at like, okay, there's, I feel like I've, for the past year since I've shut down a lot of my business and I've done some other things and they've been cool and fun and rewarding and meaningful. I've really been looking for my next thing. And I've got to say, um, I've been tempted to go back, tempted to do the known, tempted to roll up my sleeves and go make it happen. And then I was, I was saying to Ashley that I was like, if I'm just going to go make it happen and tinker with a funnel and a Facebook ad and a statistic and, and kind of like push a launch forward, what do I need God for? Like, there just has to be a better way. So I don't have all the answers for you right now. I'm just transparently sharing. I refuse I refuse to go back to those old ways. And the old ways, I got to tell you, when I was doing those things, for the most part, I wasn't miserable. It was, it was just a time where there was flow and it did work and it was fun. And it's like, I just, I'm not in that space right now. So I'm calling in and I'm craving new and I'm creating new through faith. And faith is the evidence of things not seen. And I've given myself about a month. I think I shared that um, in our Q Club, we're doing the, the coolest sort of spiritual, I don't want to call it a challenge, but a spiritual walk of faith where we've all picked a scripture. And we're like, let's actually live by it. Let's, let's live by this scripture for a month and see what happens. If nothing happens, we can go back to life as usual. We can go back to stressing out and worrying and forcing and making it happen. 
But my scripture for this month is, seek first the kingdom of heaven and then all these things will be added unto you. So every day and sometimes every hour, I'm seeking what and where is the kingdom of heaven. I get different answers. Not that they're um, in contradiction to each other. It's just there's there's a, a different message and a different lesson for a different hour of each day. And in this moment, as I seek the kingdom of heaven, it's this connection with you. It's this relationship. It's this conversation. It's this amazing ability that women like us, against all odds and against all physical evidence, are still somehow choosing faith, still somehow believing for the miracle, still really being unavailable for what isn't true for us, the grind, the massive action, the push, the force, the working all the time. And I got to tell you, that takes courage. So I really honor you. I honor you in your commitment, even when other people might think you're crazy. And sometimes you even think you're crazy for holding out, for still believing, for honoring that knowedness in your heart that your time is a coming. Your breakthrough is, is around the corner. And if you're anything like me, you follow Joel Olstein and you follow Real Talk Kim on Instagram and you keep looking at their messages and their memes like, your best days are ahead of you and favor is coming and there's a blessing coming for you tonight around the corner. I'm like, Kim? Joel? And even when it doesn't show up in the form that I want it to take or think it's going to take, I still have this warm glow in my heart knowing there's different forms of miracles, there's different experiences of the kingdom of heaven, there's different timetables, there's different levels of depth of faith. I was talking to another friend of mine and we were talking about some of the meditation that we've done lately. And, you know, also kind of like, well, why aren't there more results faster? Like, like where, where are the bigger results? And Dr. Joe Dispenza is so great. Sometimes, sometimes he'll just say, I don't know what you want me to say. You're just not that good yet. <laughs> I was like, you know, I guess he deserves his level of mastery. And that's what he has, in my opinion, created around meditation. His level of devotion and commitment and mastery so that then he is manifesting at a particular level. And I, I guess I can liken it to when certain clients of mine have come to me and said, well, how, how come I can't get the level of transformation for my clients the way what you've gotten. And though from a feminine queen perspective, I don't, it never really dawned on me to say, I don't know what to tell you. You're just not that good yet. I think we, we give men in our culture permission to say those things. There is something almost relieving about it. Hearing that kind of direct masculine voice. I didn't take it like I'm not, that good, like that there's something wrong with me. I took it as an invitation, like, right. Like if I am expecting more from the divine, if I am expecting more from my spiritual walk and my spiritual path, just like you and I have this relationship here, it's a relationship with God. It's not like 
placing your catalog order and saying, I'll take one of these and four of these and seven of those. Like there is a frequency to faith. And I know when my faith is flimsier or when it's stronger. And there's this beautiful space we can get in when when we're so devoted to the divine, meaning so seeking first the kingdom of heaven and whatever that means for you, I get to rest and relax. It's like I don't even need the manifestation because of the fullness and the wholeness and the bliss that I'm experiencing in the moment of basking, basking in like almost like bathing in the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding, whether I'm reading or journaling or meditating. Like in that moment, I don't need the physical manifestation. And yet as a human and a Capricorn, I am going to say I am very, very, don't think I'm going all Zen and Buddhist on you. That is, you've got to follow other people for that. I am about queenhood and queens have castles and royal robes and, and all the things also. I'm just choosing to believe that leaning in to my faith and my spiritual connection and living by spiritual principles, that that is the way I desire to manifest at this time in my life. So thank you for being on this faith walk with me. Thank you for the courage that you have to keep showing up for your own life and your own dreams and your own whatever it is, business or brand or relationship or marriage or a health journey. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see women like us have strength in the vulnerability of we don't have the answers. And yet at the same time, we have a known certainty inside of us that our faith will become fruitful in the ways that we desire. You know, the scriptures say, delight yourself and he will delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And I don't know that I thought initially that having a half a million downloads on my podcast was a desire of my heart, but I have delighted myself in being here with you on this journey. And I can assure you that today, a very big desire in my heart has been seeing what a difference it's made for each of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please, please continue to show up for you. Continue to show up here at the Divine Living Podcast. I promise to continue to give you my best. And again, I want to hear from you. So DM me. Um, let me know what subjects you want more of, etc. And I feel like today is a great day to ask if this podcast has been a blessing in your life. Would you please go to wherever you listen to podcasts and leave a review? Uh, I will read every single one. It would mean so, so much to me. I think that you know how much it means to, um, you know, just the growth of anyone's podcast or book or whatever it is to see those reviews. They really do mean a lot. So if on this uh, half a million download celebration day, you feel inclined to take a few moments to do that, I would be so grateful. And otherwise, thank you, thank you, thank you again for being on this journey. I hope that this podcast has been a blessing in your life. And before we go, let's close with a prayer. Mm. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for creating all of us exactly as we are. Thank you for placing the brilliant, beautiful gifts inside each of us that do just come naturally. Thank you for loving us so much that you've created us as humans to love each other and to coexist and to learn from each other. Thank you for creating the concept of relationship that can just be so pleasurable and enjoyable. 
We thank you for the gift and blessing of technology that we can, at this time on the planet, be connected literally worldwide. And thank you for the message that you continue to have flow through me every time this microphone gets plugged in. Thank you for all the beautiful listeners that you've sent that are seeking this message. I ask that you would pray a very special prayer and blessing over the Divine Living Community. I pray favor. I pray abundance. I pray prosperity. I pray, pray clarity. I pray confidence. I pray expansion. May everyone's gifts be used at the highest level. May everyone who's seeking a miracle receive it and see it as evidence that truly living by spiritual principle is what you have designed for us. And we pray all of this believing. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, my darlings. Thank you again so much. And until next time, bye-bye. All right, gorgeous. I hope that this episode has been such a blessing in your life. And if you are looking to further elevate your life and discover the unapologetic art of dreaming big and manifesting your most fabulous life, get a copy of my book, The Audacity to be Queen Today. It's filled with 20 page turning chapters. This book is designed to unlock your truest potential, reprogram your mindset, and have you living the life you've always imagined. You can get it at divineliving.com forward slash book and dive into all things queen today. 